Dude, it's, that's at the Did end. Did you just hit the button? That's at the end. Oh. We do that at the end. Hey, everybody, welcome to ShortSellPowerHour.com. I'm Kevin Coffin. It's Fred Weaver. Group 4610. What's today? Friday. Yeah. Couple, a bunch of quick announcements. To, quick. This, this week yeah. is all about going to facebook.com slash short sale power, liking our page, downloading our short sale power app in the app store, and attending one of our short sales gone wild classes throughout the country, one in Phoenix at the end of September, and two uh, in October in Minnesota and Colorado. All right, let's jump in. Hey, if you don't know why my clapping is funny, you got to go back and watch Wendy's, Wednesday's episode. Wendy's episode? Well, not Wendy. She's not on the show. Okay. You ready? Wendy, are you even watching this? That's what I want to know. What Wendy are you talking to is what I want to know. Wendy knows who I'm talking about. Okay, good. So, yeah. hey guys, uh, it's Friday. It's uh, it's We've had so many names for the show, but today it's just Friday. Friday's show. And uh, I think that we should talk about... You don't H want to drop the F bomb <laughs> no, on the video today. today? I think we should talk about HOA fees. Okay, let's do that. So, it's a commonly asked question that we get as we travel around the country. What are your best practices, people ask, for getting... HOAs taking care of in a short sale transaction. So what I want to start with is a quick little idea for you. Negotiating HOA fees starts before you ever take the listing. It's absolutely about thinking with the end in mind. Yep. If you own our audio and video crush it series, which you can actually buy right up here, shortsellpower.com slash e-store. If you don't own it, I don't know why you watch the show and you haven't invested the $100, $200 in buying that. Like, I really don't get it. There's not a better 10 hours of content available like, anywhere. Yeah, I, I just don't get it. So you yeah, might want to consider that. But it starts with talking to your homeowner up front. And we actually, because we're really cool like this, decided that instead of having to have a verbal conversation with our homeowner on HOA fees and remember what they told us, when we're talking to a prospect, part of our short sale package is a little document we call the HOA information page. And if you would like that document, you can get that in our short sale package, also available in the e-store for the very great price of $46.10. We're, we're doing a really good job of talking about our product today. And you know what? I don't feel bad about it because if you're not no. buying our stuff, I don't get why you're coming here. And I don't, I don't want you to come here to buy our stuff. I want you to see the value in all the stuff we've created and how it will make you more money and save you more time so you can go out and close more deals. That's why we created it. Yeah, anyway, no so in our financial package, we have a document called the HOA form. And it's a document the homeowner has to fill out. It gives us their HOA's name, their information, ask for their payment schedule, and ask for the last time they made their payment. So we have an idea up front if they're current on their HOA's or not. Now we also, in our seller expectation document, also a part of the financial package for $46.10. We have some documentation in there that tells the homeowner it is their responsibility to pay the HOA It's piece. almost as if we thought about the entire process before we started. Amazing. So we ask the homeowner to fill out a form and then we ask them to keep their HOAs current. Now the reason we do that is because we've learned through the School of Hard Knocks that trying to negotiate short sale fees with bank or negotiate uh, the HOA fees HOA with banks, fees. while possible, is not always fun. I mean, Oh, we'll be the first to raise our hands and tell you guys that we've got an HOA payoffs of five and six thousand dollars paid for by a lender on forty and fifty thousand dollar properties where the HOA payoffs were ten percent of the value of the home. We've gotten the banks to pay for them. That's because we're good and we know how to negotiate. But we're also smart and good and know that it's not worth the fight if we don't have to fight. So we ask the homeowner to pay for them up front, and we have them fill out a form saying they're going to pay for them. Now the off chance that the homeowner just stops paying for them after they listed the property or they come to us and we happen to take their listing even though they're behind their HOAs. What's our mindset, Kevin? How do we go about handling that kind of thing? Whose responsibility should it be to pay for those HOA fees? Well, number one, we're always gonna put it back on the seller at first. Like, hey, know that you may be responsible for this, get ready to pay for it, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but number two, we're just gonna go to the bank and negotiate it. At the yeah. end of the day, it's part of the short sale transaction and if, if including paying off the HOA saves the bank money over foreclosure, which it does every time, every freaking time that we take a deal, then they're going to pay it. They may not like it, we may need to escalate, we may need to push this one all the way to the top, and we've certainly gone all the way to the top to get some HOA fees approved. The bank will pay it eventually, I guarantee it. However, I would love to avoid having to do that if I could just get my seller to take it. And here's another thing for the seller, you don't even know this. Okay. I had a phone call last night with a former client of ours, um, I talked to him last night and he called me. His home actually foreclosed. It was one of our foreclosures uh, early last year, 2010. And it, you'll remember this file because we had it for years and we went through probably seven or eight buyers. The home finally foreclosed and he got a call this week from a collection company. He owed, his, he owed his HOA company like $4,500 or 
four grand, something pretty big. And I remember thinking, dang. HOA fees don't go away at foreclosure, no. guys. So in, in, in some states they do. We understand that. But in the state of Arizona, we are a non-super lean state, meaning the seller could still be responsible for those dues. The, the HOA could actually send them to collections. They could potentially file a judgment against that person. It looks like a lot of different ways. Um, so in Arizona, we just we're always going to remind our sellers like, hey, if you don't pay this and for some reason the bank doesn't either and the home goes to foreclosure, you're going to be responsible. Like the bank, the HOA company can come after you. They can file a judgment if they like. Yep. Um, one other thing that you mentioned there is the we just get the bank to pay for them. And I know that some of you out there are going, well, I don't know how to do that. I can't do it. Guys, it's about loss mitigation. Is the bank actually netting more money by well, accepting I'll, your short I'll, sale I'll than they are letting the home foreclose? I, you know, not to be rude or or, or you are rude. Mean. You're mean but look if, if your mindset is well how do i get the bank to do that you need to stop watching this video right now you need to go to the top click on the e-store button and start watching the short sale crush it audio series for 10 hours seriously if that's your question in your mindset of i can't get the bank to pay hoas then you need to go watch that video series and learn how to do it and i'm going to tell you right now plain and simple there's like 10 more tricks it, there's hud tricks there's the contract language you have with the buyer there's negotiation tricks when you're actually escalating the bank. Like we could talk for the next hour on HOA fees, but we already did that. It's in the Crush It series. We did. Is that good enough? Go watch it. You're mean. Thanks. I'm done. You, you practiced earlier. You ready to go? Short sale power hour. Not the remote's broken.